shit. It's clear I haven't made a YouTube video in a really long time. But I'm going to try and make a little bit of a comeback. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on in my life right now. And I'm pretty much just here to talk about it. So I guess we'll start from the top. At the beginning of this year on New Year's, I kind of had um, the worst night of my life. Survivor. Yeah, you are a survivor of getting way too fucked up <laughs> last night. Yeah. I'm like stuck in a perma trip right now. <laughs> uh, that's fucked up. And we won't go into details because my family watches my YouTube videos, or at least I assume they do. But I experienced ego death and it was just horrible. It gave me so much anxiety. PTSD, I'm scared of the dark, I don't sleep in my room, I don't sleep alone. I'm basically just messed up now. And then four days after I had that like life changing moment, I ended up driving around with my boyfriend at the time and um, someone slid and hit our car, slid on ice and hit our car. So that was four days after and we totaled the car. It was pretty scary. I started, like, re-tripping or whatever. But, and then shortly after that, I finally, after three years of been trying to get my license, I finally get my birth certificate back and I get everything figured out. And then on my birthday, it goes missing again. So cool. Now we're at my birthday. <laughs> Everything's just gone. I'm like, whatever, that can get fixed. Um, I mean, I'm not really tripping about it. So, I'm not really going to go into detail about this because, like, I'm not going to put him on blast. And it's all, like, wander or water under the bridge. But me and my boyfriend broke up on, on Easter. Um, he broke up with me. It was kind of a mutual thing. I mean, it really wasn't, but it was at the same time. Like, there was a lot of small problems with us, but at the end of the day, we just, I don't think we were really meant to last. And I think we both knew that, but I think we both were just denying it. I have no, I can't say I have no beef with him, but it's behind me. And I am just trying to be the best version of me that I can possibly be. Now I'm going to go through my friends and who I'm thankful for. And maybe I won't, I won't say names. Maybe I will. And who kind of has, like, played some games with me. So I just want to say a huge freaking thank you to my friend Madison, who I just recently met. She basically messaged me and she was like, hey. Do you smoke? And I was like, oh. of course. So she picks me up and we smoke together. And I actually now live with her and my roommate, Jack. We live up north in Grayling. And we've had a lot of fun. We go four wheeling. I Maybe I'll insert some footage if I can find any. But we just have been having such a blast. So I also want to thank my friend Jack, who actually sent me back downstate to go get my birth certificate or my birth certificate all figured out and so I can get my license so things are easier up north. Well, I come downstate, I hang out with my friends. I'm here for a week and a half, or supposed to be. And obviously because a birth certificate is like a one day thing, I was finding things to occupy my time. Long story short, I hung out with one of my friends and they just recently tested positive for COVID. So today, terrified as all hell, I went in and I got a test to see if I'm COVID positive. Um, I started feeling a little nauseous last night. I felt hot, but I couldn't really tell if it was because, like, my room is hot or really what was going on. They basically just told me if I go anywhere, wear a face mask, 
but to stay in and to try and avoid contact with anyone until I know. So they basically just said, until you know if you're COVID positive, assume you are. Which I'm already assuming because last night I did not feel very good. I will say I don't think it's probably as bad as everyone makes it out to be, but I'm not trying to jinx myself, so. Um, so I quit my job at Sonic and moved up north, and then you're sitting on a ski lift. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to have a job lined up up north at a golf course as a beverage cart girl. But we shall see because I'm stuck here on quarantine. So um, my modeling classes were canceled because of Rona. So I finally started getting paid modeling jobs, which was really dope. I got my first paid modeling job a few months ago, or I guess more than a few months ago now that Rona has been going on for like ever. But right before Rona, I got my first paid modeling job. And basically what happened is I ended up giving my boyfriend at the time pretty much all of my money because he was a little behind. And I fell behind in my payments for my modeling classes. And then when the schools got canceled, obviously I couldn't go in to do my modeling courses anymore. So I'm pretty bummed about that. I'm really trying to get back into like taking pictures, doing fitness. I'm also super mad that the gyms are closed right now because I finally was getting where I wanted to be. And I'll, I mean like, We're good. but not where I want to be still. Um, So I don't know. I got a tattoo on my hand. I would say that is a mistake because I got it from my friend's brother. No shade, Madison, or your brother. But my tattoo is just bad. Just bad. And it got really infected and the top of it like fell off. But that's honestly my fault. So um, when he did it, I don't know if you can tell, like if you look at it, this side is way bigger than this side, right? So I was so upset because I'm a perfectionist and I'm OCD and all that jazz that I basically was just like, sweet. So I'm going to draw on the other side of this with eyeliner. You know, like the dumbass I am. And I'm going to make it look even. Well, I did. And it was fine for like two days. And then the eyeliner started like peeling up on the edge. And when I peeled the corner of it, it like peeled up the corner of my tattoo. I was like, oh shit, I just won't fuck with it anymore. And then I already planned on getting my tattoo fixed and touched up because it looks nothing like how I wanted it to look anyways. So I was just like, I don't really care if I get it wet. I don't really care if I get it in chlorine. Matter of fact, the chlorine will probably help the infection. So I went swimming with my friend Bridget and her hot tub. And I honestly would say that was one of the smarter things I did. <laughs> not literally, like you shouldn't swim if you got your tattoo, especially not in chlorine. But it took, so the inside of my tattoo is was originally baby blue. And the outside was just supposed to be a black outline, but the chlorine took all the baby blue away for the most part. I don't know. You can still kind of see it tinted, but so now I'm thinking when I get it touched up, it's not going to look nearly as bad as I thought it was going to look originally. So I'm feeling good about that. Um, I literally have not eaten a single thing today. because I just have no appetite. But um, I don't know, I just have no appetite. I feel like if I eat, I'll probably get sick, so I'd rather just not eat. Let me take a drink of some water. But I've been trying to get back into art a little bit. I've been trying to get back into writing. I don't know. I've been really conflicted about religion lately. Just after I had a really bad acid trip, I just 
shooting out of my body and looking at myself as a fetus floating around in blackness. I like, it's such a long story, but basically I was waiting to be reborn and I was watching myself waiting to be reborn. And yes, guys, I know how crazy this sounds, but I promise I'm not lying. Into a different body. Ridiculous. But all of that kind of just gave me this funky, funky view on religion. And now I just feel like basically our lives are a freaking video game and someone is playing like, because I feel like I have control over my life. Like I'm controlling everything. I'm making my own decisions. But then someone's just like, oh, but still, even though you did this, you're it's not going to happen. Like I've gotten my birth certificate, <laughs> my permit my adult permit my state id and still every year on my birthday my shit goes missing and i'm like how does that even happen it makes no sense to me all I, the only places i went on my birthday this year was my house and my birthday party and i didn't have my purse at my birthday party so where did it go I don't know, but I had a lot of money in it, which is just the way of my life. But I think I'm going to, like, I think I'm going to end this with a poem I wrote or a poem that I'm trying to finish right now, just because I don't really know what else to talk about. I know this video is, like, really chaotic and just all over the place. I haven't filmed in a really long time. I've just kind of been really out of it and I don't know today I was just crying for absolutely no reason like I'm not sad I'm not not happy with my life I actually live a really easy life and my friends have pointed out to me that I'm very sheltered and sometimes it's hard to talk about things with me just because it goes like right over my head but um it doesn't mean that we don't all have our problems and sometimes we just need to talk about them but this is a poem I started writing about religion or like, I guess a rap. I don't know. I kind of been into rap lately. Let's be real. Like it's, it's kind of fun to try and spit some bars. It's not saying I'm any good, but like, it's kind of fun. So I'm like right now debating if I should read it like as a poem or like as rap, but I think I'm going to read it as a rap. So it goes, just like Tetris, somebody check this. Going through the facts, just scrolling on my checklist. Cross on my necklace, down feeling reckless. Questions are endless. Churches are relentless. Part of my correctness, somebody catches. I believe in hell when I'm dragged through the trenches. Never on the benches, keen to my senses. And I haven't been able to come up with the last part. But slow down. So the meaning is like, just like Tetris means like my life or my life feels like a video game. Somebody check this. It's like somebody tell me I'm wrong. Um, going through the facts, just scrolling down my checklist was like about me going through all of the things that I do and don't know about religion and just thinking or trying to like uncross how I feel about everything in my head. It says cross on my necklace. Now I'm feeling reckless. So I used to kind of be religious. I used to believe that like God, there was a God. And I mean, I don't necessarily believe there's no God. I just don't know what to believe anymore. So then the next line is now I'm feeling reckless. The questions are endless. Churches are relentless as in they try pushing their religion on you. Not always, but a lot of them do. Um, it says, pardon my correctness. Somebody catch this. I'll believe in hell when I'm dragged through the trenches. Never on the benches, keen to my senses. So keen to my senses is supposed to be like me saying that I think I'm finally feeling like I understand or I'm starting to get an understanding of the world. But that's really all I have written for now. And that's all I can come up with. I've kind of been at a writer's block for the past two days since I wrote this. I don't really know how to end this video and I don't even have an intro to this video yet. So I guess I'll see if... I have enough balls to make one, but I just want to thank you guys for watching my YouTube video and stopping by, and I'm going to try and be posting more consistently and regularly, but it really does take a lot of work to make YouTube videos, and I've just got 
a lot of stuff going on in my life, but I'm trying to carve out the time and get back to a healthy mindset again. So if you want to see more, then subscribe and like. But if you don't and you never want to see my face again, then you can just gladly leave my page. You keep talking your shit. Anyways, no, but I already know there's gonna be so many girls from my school that are watching this or like Oh my god, did you see Skylar Geiger's new YouTube video? Her talking about all the drugs she was on and her life. Yeah, bitch. I'm right here. Have a good day, guys. I'll probably see you in my next YouTube video and hopefully it won't be such a train wreck.